Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's fun fact is coding increases your logical thinking by 70%. Also, coding retains your creativity by 98%. Isn't that awesome? Now that should definitely tell you that coding is a very cool and important skill. Now anyway, today this video is part 15 in the series Coding for Kids in Python. In a previous video in this series, we had um, started using the turtle module. So our first step was to of course create a turtle, and then we also changed the background color of our screen using the BG color function. And we ended the previous video by talking about the RGB color model. Now in today's video, we are going to be continuing on in chapter six of the book Coding for Kids in Python, written by Miss Adrian. In tech. So let's first start off by talking about the hexadecimal system. So the color I want for Toby's home is the number 1DA2D8. Well, you guys may be thinking, well, what in the world is the number 1DA, 2D8? Well, the answer is, it is actually the very specific shade of blue I want for Toby's home. And this number is written in hexadecimal form. So hexadecimal, the hexadecimal system is a number system that uses 16 symbols to represent numbers, which um, are 0 through 9 and A through F. So since it has 16 symbols to represent unique numbers, we consider hexadecimal to be a base 16 number system. Now we humans are used to a base 10 system, which we call, as you might know, the decimal system. And we use exactly 10 symbols you're probably familiar with, zero through nine. And these following symbols are the only ones we use to create all of our numbers. Now the cool thing is, is the hexadecimal system stores more information with less code since it uses 16 different symbols to represent numbers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a chart on what our decimal numbers are when written as hexadecimal numbers. So as you guys can see, um, from the moment we reach 10 in the decimal system, we are already required to use two characters and that is one and zero. But in hexadecimal, we're still only using one character for the number 10, and that is A. So this basically means that we are already saving the space of one character by using the hexadecimal system. So in the system, the different characters come together, or they go together, to create a six-digit hexadecimal color. So the first pair of characters, which is the first two numbers, which is 1D, that's the first pair. And that is, um, stands for the R value in the hexadecimal color. And the second pair, which in this case is A2, that stands for the G value. And finally, the third pair, which is D8, stands for the B value. So the big difference between this and the hexadecimal system is that we only use six characters. And in this case, it's 1DA, 2DA, instead of a possible nine. Also, to make these numbers a hexadecimal color, we have to add a hashtag sign in front of the numbers, which tells the computer that it's in hexadecimal form. Okay, wow, that was a lot of information on, hexades on the hexadecimal system. But guys, remember, this is a very important topic that you guys should be able to know to be able to code in Python and in many other programming languages. Now back to Toby the turtle. So now that we know how to get the very specific shade of color from the hexadecimal system, let's finally give Toby the right shade of blue for his home. So right now, as you can see, we have this very dark blue, which is not the one I'm looking for. Well, of course, first we have to inform the computer or the turtle module that we want to use the RGB scale of colors instead of the standard named colors. So here's how. As you see, I've opened my idle shell, and in the shell, we're gonna go ahead and type this code. Turtle.screen, parentheses, um, dot color mode, and in the parentheses, we're gonna write the number 255. So go ahead um, and click enter. So awesome, this, now the computer will be able, like, it will know that we'll be giving it um, a specific red, green, and blue values. So next, how about we pass this on to the BG color function? 
So again, we're going to type this other code into our shell and please, please do follow along with me because trust me, it is super duper fun to be coding in the turtle module. So go ahead and type this code. So again, turtle dot screen parentheses, but now we're going to put in our BG color function, which is again, another function that comes with our turtle module. So BG color and in another set of parentheses, we're going to put these three numbers, 29, 162 and 216. Great job, everyone. So now if we click enter, Toby's home should now be a beautiful ocean blue. So I clicked enter. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our result. So there we go, guys. This is perfect. Um, we have now changed the background to be a nice ocean color blue. But how about now we change Toby to be a nice turtle green. So the code for this is very similar to what we like wrote before. But here we're just like changing the turtle object instead of the screen object. And can any of you guys guess what the code will look like? So go ahead and type this code into the shell. Turtle.color. And in parentheses, we're going to write these three numbers. 9, 185 and 13. Okay, so my code is good. So if you said that this is the code we need to write, then you are definitely right. So if we click enter, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So there we go. Here we are just changing. Um, okay, so as you see the code we have just written changed the color of Toby himself. So he is green, as you can see, but we can't really see Toby that well now. Any ideas on how we can make him stand out? Hmm. Oh, I got it. We should now use an outline to our turtle. So we can actually use the pen color function for this. So go ahead back to our shell and we're going to write this following code. Turtle dot pen color. And in parentheses, write these following numbers. 0, 128 and zero again. Now this code should now give Toby a nice dark green outline. So let's go ahead and check. So there you go. Now, as you see, we have a nice outline to Toby the turtle. But even with all of these changes of color, it's we still can't really see Toby that well, right? So now let's make him a little bit bigger. And yes, we can. So this is the last thing we're gonna be doing in today's video. So we are all gonna be changing the size of Toby the turtle himself. And since Toby's home is quite big, it can be a little bit hard to see Toby through all that ocean water. Now to fix this, how about we make Toby a little bit bigger? And to do this, we, um, we can do this by using the turtle modules turtle size function. So um, go ahead and type this following code turtle dot turtle size. Oh, let me spell that correctly. There we go. Turtle dot turtle size and in parentheses write these following numbers 10, 10, so two tens and one two. So now let me describe the, the code that I just wrote. So since the turtle like size function includes three numbers, the first and second represent how we're going to stretch our turtle lengthwise, meaning up and down and widthwise, which is left and right a certain amount. And now the third and final number, which in this case it's two, declares the size of Toby's outline. So now how about we run this code and see what our output looks like now. So go ahead and click enter. That's all you have to do to run your code. And there we go, guys. This, um, as you can see, it is uh, the code we have just written above definitely made Toby the turtle much bigger and maybe way too big. So if you guys like how your turtle looks like just like this, then you can go ahead and leave it like this. But I still do recommend for you guys to watch this whole video because you will at least know how to change, like how to make your object smaller in the turtle module. But for those of you who are on the same track as me and you who want to change the size of our turtle, then continue on and following along with me. So now we can actually bring Toby to his original size. 
And so if you guys liked how Toby was before, like his size before, we can actually do that. And um, we can do this by using the turtle modules resize mode function. So again, there's a lot of functions that the turtle module comes with. So this is how you're gonna write another one of them. Turtle.resize mode. And in parentheses, go ahead and write the word auto. And write the word auto in single quotes. So now this following code will just bring um, like our turtle back to its original size. So now the turtle parameter just tells the computer to use the default values the turtle module originally gave us. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this code did. So as you see, to, um, Toby the turtle has now gone back to his original size. Now how about we try resizing Toby, but not as big this time. So go ahead and write the same code as we did before. So turtle dot turtle size. Okay, sort of. But now, of course, we're gonna change the numbers that we put in our parentheses because we want to change the size of Toby now. So three. How about we try three? So three, um, three, and we're gonna um, keep the two the same. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter, and let's go ahead and see our output. Ah, uh, now this is just perfect. So these inputs made our turtle the perfect size, not too big and not too small either. Now, some of you guys may be wondering more about that third parameter, right? So like I said before, the third number represents how thick Toby's outline is going to be. Now, of course, we can change the, tur the size of the outline directly without having to change Toby's size. Now to do this, you just have to write this following code turtle dot turtle size. Now, instead of changing like Toby's size, we can just directly change his outline. So to do that in the parentheses, you would write the word outline equals 10. Now, if you click enter, the, um, open the output, Toby's outline should now be thicker. Okay, so I think this outline is way too thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it um, and change it back. So how about, okay, so if you guys like this outline, then you can go ahead and leave it like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it by writing this code, turtle dot, turtle size, again, the same code. And in the um, parentheses, I'm gonna go ahead and write outline equals three. Now, if we click enter, I'm gonna show you guys our output. Now this looks much better. So sadly, this is the end of today's video. And in my next video, we will actually, in the series of course, we will actually be moving Toby around the screen. And depending on how much information I cover, we might also be drawing some shapes too in the turtle module. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And then if you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone. Keep coding, keep reading, and stay safe.